does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again for Bowers Play, and today I'm very excited to be playing Floriferous Three-Handed. This is from Pencil First Games, LLC. It's for one to four players. Take about 20 minutes to play, ages 14 plus, from Steve Finn, Eduardo Baraf, and Clementine Kemper. And do, oh, oh, I mispronounced that last time. The last name there, I apologize, because that's a, I really like the name Clementine. Wow, we're thinking about baby names right now, and I, well, I'm putting that one to the table. But anywho, uh, we've got everything set up. We're playing a three-handed game right here. Blue's going to go first, and it's kind of like King Domino, where whoever's on top will be going first, so it will be changing. And I'll just I'll walk you through every single turn, and you'll quickly learn how to play the game, because it is a lightweight game. So first thing that I need to do is decide which one of these four cards do I want to go with. And so I'm looking over here, looking at the goals. I, I like going for these goals when I play. So you know what? Does a tulip need it anywhere? Tulip and a bug. Ooh, tulip, butterfly. You know what? I think we'll go with tulip. I think we'll just go to because it's like, all right, it's solid. I think it's a great card. It has tulip on it, which we're going to need right here. Also, it has a bug, which can come into big points later on if you accumulate bugs. So... Moving over here, green now thinking, we want the mum, we want the poppy, or we want to start going for points on mums. Mums are going to be hot here. We're going to need mums twice. You know what? Maybe we'll, maybe green's going to go mum. We're going to go mum game, strong game, and we will pick that up. We'll put it over here under the, the green pile, because once again, you can pick, uh, I haven't even said it, you can pick any one of the cards in that row. So now they're left with mum and poppy. Both of them are going to give them a rock. Both of them are actually going to do the same thing turn order wise. They're going to be second no matter what. They're locked in place. And they see that, you know what? Poppies are hot. Poppies are hot right here. But this guy's going for mums. He just saw the greens going for mums. So I think you snatch up that mum right now while you can, which also puts you in the lead slightly on this. So I think that kind of just fell under their lap. I think Pink's pretty happy about that. I think I should also give the uh, correct colors the correct cards. And that would probably help with this gameplay a little bit, huh? Yeah, let's do that. So, uh, and they also get the rock, which once again, how the rock works, it's kind of like that other gardening game, Herbaceous, I think it is, uh, where if you have the most rocks at the end of the game, you can get two points. All right, so this out, gone, bye-bye, never going to see you again. So, this is supposed to be face down. That's how the game works. So, blue, once again, is going first. What's blue got? What's blue got? Let's look at blue. They got a tulip. Do we need a tulip? Yeah, we need a tulip. Now we need whatever this is and whatever that is. Daisy? Is that a daisy? It's not a daisy. Three points per butterfly. We don't have a butterfly. So, you know what? We say wild card. Let's go top. Let's. We're going to get exactly what we want. And we got a mum. Actually, that's that's spectacular. That's exactly what we need. Booyah! And we got a bee. Booyah! We got a bee and we got a mum. That makes me feel happy. Okay. All right. So, blue's here, pink going next. What does pink want? Pink's got the mum already, so they're also going for this. So I think the tulip is kind of the no-brainer here, plus it gives them a bug. They have no need for this. Yeah, I think they're taking the tulip. I think that's a solid choice. Now, did they get a rock there? They did not get a rock there. Did I mess? I messed up the, uh-oh, I messed up the distribution of the rocks. Oh, my good gravy. We can fix this. We can retcon this. <sighs> I apologize. So the rocks are actually, I set it up incorrectly. The, 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 the majority of the rocks are supposed to be on the bottom, not here. So that would go here. And then the whatever was here, the pink one, would go here. So the pink actually doesn't have, oh, it was this rock. So pink doesn't have that rock. And I think we fixed everything because this one still had a rock on it. And this one still had a rock on it. We're good. We're good. Fixed it. Let's go. Nice red con. All right. So uh, Daisy Butterfly for green. We don't really need a daisy, so maybe we say, you know what? We're just going to go points early. We're going to go points early. We're going to let this fall into our lap. Okay. Card. Bye-bye. Rock. See ya. Blue. Let's go. They'd love to complete one of these on day one. That would be so nice. And we're going to play the friendly version, which means you can have more than one token on here. Otherwise, it'd be a race game. I don't want to race myself. I'm trying to have a relaxing day in the garden with these stones or something. Okay, focus, blue, what do you have, what do you need? Blue's going first, and they have a tulip, they have a mum, which means they're looking for this star flower, and that lily is right there. Hot diggity dog, they don't like going third, but bottom line is, that's going to give them this right here. And since it happened on day one, you're going to get five points. If it happens on day two, you get three points, and you can probably guess what will happen if it happens on day three. I'm not telling you, I'm not going to tell you, you have to figure it out yourself. 
Uh, you get two points, I'll tell you. So, anywho, uh, purple now, pink, it's pink. What do they need? What's pink need? Got a tulip, got a mum. They're like, ah, oh, you took the, uh, the lily. So, lily's off the table. Is there a lily over here? No lily over here. No lily over here. Maybe they go for that while. I don't know. But that's next turn. They should be thinking about this turn. And they have Beetle. They have Beetle. Ooh, to, oh, oh, but here's the thing. Uh, maybe they go Beetle. Because there's a Beetle there. Maybe they lean heavily into Beetles. Do they need a mum? You know, uh, mums, uh, ooh, uh, yeah, I think maybe they go Beetle. Maybe they just, you know, they say, right, we're going to pivot. We're going to go Beetle. Because we already got a beetle. That's three points. We just picked up three points. That's how we look at that. All right, we're playing money ball now. Green's going. Green's like, okay, finally I get to take a card. And that mum just falls into their lap, and they need mum. So maybe they just go, okay, we got a mum. And we go first here. Yeah, I'll take this. I'll take this all day. And we got a rock. Now we're in the rock competition. The rock competition is one to one to one. All right, we're, we're live. We're a live wire in the rock competition. Green's feeling good. Bam, don't look at that. It's cheating. Everyone knows now. That's also cheating. Okay. Because those will get replenished uh, on day two. Because this is day one. So, what's green need? Green needs butterflies. Green needs that thing. They don't have either of those. That kind of stinks. So, what? Are, they have a mum, which means now they can start going for these. Poppy, they'll need the poppy. Also, they could go for this. The equipment. Um, because you get five points at the end of the game. And it's a rock. And green's going unorthodox. Mm, I don't think they go that unorthodox. I think they're diversifying a bit too much. They try and go for this while still going for that. Because this one is just whoever has the most at the end of the game is going to get those points, I do believe. But I'll look that up in a second. I was uninterested with it when I played it the first time. I was like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm, like, I'm, I'm in the garden for a reason. So, oh, they go here. What am I, what am I even, why am I second guessing green's move? It's so obvious. Duh. They go right here because that's three points. And that's a poppy, which gets them one step closer to that. And green is, whoo, green is happy. All right, so we're just going to, oh, we're running out of camera space. This is, okay, here we go. So, blue. Does it go wild? Does blue need to go wild? I think blue's in a very good position. They also, close to getting this, do they have a butterfly? They don't have a butterfly. Maybe blue says, I'm the one who's going to do it. I'm going to go for the, I'm going to go for that. Yeah, blue's like, all right, sure. If nobody's going to take it, I'll go for it. Boom. Because they, they don't want the unknown. They don't want the unknown that's up there. So pink now. Do they need, uh, they do not need this. So yeah, and plus they kind of wanted that anyway. Honestly, that was like, we were hoping that that would be uh, whatever the thing down here was. And is it? No, it's a poppy. But that does get us once, if we, is there a butterfly? That we, oh, we can't get that one. Can we get this one? Ooh, we have a beetle. Oh, if we get that, if we get that daisy, look at that, we're going first. And Pink just said, yep, yep a ruse. we'll take this. Bam, bam, because now we have a daisy. We have... <coughs> A poppy, and we have a weird bug with the, the pointy thing or whatever the heck that is. So that is five points. Good on you, Pink. All right. So trying to keep this organized down here. Oh, so much stuff. Okay. So Pink next. Oh, they already went. They took that. Green. Looking at the board, saying, "All right, what do I need? I need. Can I complete anything over here?" Mm -hmm. I have a poppy. I have a mum. You go for another poppy. Uh, so it's poppy, poppy. And then, and so what really is it? Do I want a B or do I want... Oh, I don't want either of these. I guess, I guess I'll go with the beetle. Oh, they already have the three-point beetle card, though. So I'm definitely not getting that. Man, this is a rough one for green. This is not an ideal situation so i think in this non-ideal situation they go with the poppy this poppy over that poppy just because they want to go second i think that's i think that's what they do all right so boom get that hate themselves hate that card blue blue what's blue looking at all right it's blue what, what is blue even trying to do all right they have the mum they don't have a poppy do they have a butterfly no they don't but I think they take the poppy because they need it. They don't even have a poppy. Boom. Poppy, no brainer, falls into their lap. They might take that tulip because they have two points, but no, I think they're taking this poppy. I think they're taking that poppy and they get a rock. So now we replenish everything, making sure you put the rocks in the correct position instead of the incorrect position as I did. 
Uh, those two are face down. Fix that. And now what's different about this round is we're actually going to go from right to left. And, you know, I don't think it really changes that much about the game. Like, it's a unique little quirk. I think mostly it just, I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. I don't know. I don't, I don't dislike it. I mean, I kind of like it. I think it's like, oh, that's interesting. But it's not like I'm like, oh, I see why they did that. I would love to know why they did that. Or if there was just, they were like, oh, yeah. It's a little less bookkeeping because you don't have to move stuff back over. Maybe it makes it easier to place the cards. I don't, I don't know. No clue. So, boom. Day two, looking set up. Ooh, starting to get points for yellow down here. And now we're starting to get some of these interesting scoring modifiers. That will give so this one gives you uh, points for every plant that's not the same. If you get so if you have five different not same plants right now, it's like okay, well that's five points. I picked that up. Oh rocks, rock me! All right, boom, 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 bing, bing, bong, boom, boom, ba. All right, so pink. What do we need? What do we need? We got we want to we want to focus on this right. We like we're like we're gonna get all these day two right now. So let's see. We need to have. A pop. We do. We have a mum. We are looking for a butterfly. Is there a butterfly right now? There is not. So, not possible, which means maybe we look. Do we have red? We don't have red, so I think we go right here. This beetle is worth three points to us. This lily is a card that we will also need down here for this one, and I think that might actually complete that one. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's why you look at all the information and not just part of it right there. So that's spectacular. So we have now completed this one, day two, so we're only getting three points, but still awesome, and we're getting a beetle, and we're getting a rock, and pink is feeling good about that turn. All right, so green. Well, green feels good. So what is green all up into right now they have nothing over here they absolutely need to get on here so we have a mum we have a poppy we're looking for a butterfly and so is it and so everybody's looking for a butterfly right now there's still not a butterfly here so we don't even need to worry about going first that kind of stinks what about this one no what about this one so we need the we need the lily yeah we need a lily do we have a tulip we don't have a tulip so we could take the tulip or we could take the lily but we're going into the rock game, and we're competitive in rock game. So I think we still... Wait, if we took... Yeah, so we can take the tulip hopefully next time. So yeah, we'll do that. I think we'll take the lily. Just risk that nobody wants that tulip on the bottom. Let's go forth. All right, so lily down here. <coughs> and now, uh, what is it? Blue. So blue, do they have any red cards? They don't. That stinks. So tulip is the obvious choice. They already have a tulip. They already have a purple tulip. Man, that is, it's not good. Not good. But, I don't think we've seen a card that gives you points for tulips. So maybe we lean into tulips. Maybe we start taking all the tulips. That's a crazy strategy. We shouldn't do that. That's a dumb idea. Let's go here. <laughs> we could get the most generic hate. That that turn was just, everything about it was, was just filled with hate. All right, so. But now he can lock up this, pretty much, because getting two of those probably will mean that he's going to get uh, the sculpture cards, based on who has the most sculptures. This would pretty much lock it in place for him. So, yeah, I think he does that. He's like, all right, that's five points for him, most likely. Uh, because we don't have any... We don't have any scoring modifiers. Ooh, these are, these are starting to get really close together here. <laughs> those are starting to, uh, to kind of blend in there. I need something to separate it. But first, we'll get this. Yeah, and we're going to go through the point scoring at the end right here a little bit later. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, so, green. What's green? Who's green? Green's right here. Green's playing. What's green doing? Did they, yeah, they needed the tulip, and the tulip just came to them, right? They don't have a tulip. Bam. So, that's going to give them the tulip, which means they will be able to complete tulip, mum, lily. So, that's the first. Boom. Again, the three points on there. Uh, and then, do they have this one? They did. They they don't have the butterfly. Still no butterfly. In fact, oh, they do have one butterfly. They oh, though they have this. They have whatever the heck that thing is. Okay. And then up here, they have a beetle. They do have a beetle. They have whatever this thing is. They do not. So that's what we're looking for right there. Okay. Good to know. Why are they both right here? Oh, he should be here. Pink. What do you got, Pink? Pink has a white. So that's really not great. Or a mystery. 
and pink, most importantly, is just looking for a butterfly. Like, well, like, I want a butterfly. And they say, okay, I'll go here. And then even if I don't get the butterfly here, I can lock up this. Bam, get myself a butterfly. So didn't get a butterfly. Uh, but they got a daisy. Whatevs. Do I care about the daisy? Do I have a daisy? Oh, yeah, I already do have a daisy. Big guy has a daisy. But now, importantly, they can lock this up, which means now they have the butterfly. Which means they're the first person to complete this. That's kind of surprising to me. And day two. Okay, so now they are pivoting. They're like, what do we do now? Because we have completed all of those. So blue has two sculptures. They don't really need that third sculpture. But what they do need is a daisy. Blue needs a daisy. And I think a daisy will give them... No, not quite give them this, but it'll get them a little bit closer. So I think they will go here. Ooh, non-equal. One, two, three, four... Five. So right now, if I take this, this is five points. Versus this, which has, uh, which is three points, I do believe, because it's got this symbol. Oh, oh, I don't think we can use the same symbol. One of these things we can't use the same symbol on for. Either way, I think I'm just going to take the five points anyway. That way I don't even have to look up the rule. <laughs> five points is five points you take the five points five points slaps you in the face you take five points this is green green took the five points wait no it's blue blue took the five points yeah look at blue what am i doing boom just the organization is just terrible right here all right green so green looking at this and says you know what do i need a daisy do i really need a daisy and they say yeah i do really need a daisy because a daisy will in fact complete this because we'll have the bug we'll have the daisy we'll have the poppy. So yeah, they say, all right, fell in my lap. And I think I just took rock game lead. <coughs> Maintain rock game lead. Complete this on day two. And now they're looking right here and say, what do I need for here? What am I missing? A butterfly. I think it's just, yeah, it's just the butterfly right there. All right. Action pack round. Pink. Now their game pivots. They say, all right, how do I score points? How am I going to point this out hard? They have... No point. So the, the, I think they just focus on point cards completely. They just think it's here and say, okay, that's going to be four points right there. And if nobody takes that mum, that's going to be six points right there. Yeah, I think they go all points all the time. While green, sitting over here, not even sure which cards are which. Oh, my gosh, that's so close. I need I need a divider. I have got to find a divider right now. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect. All right. These are now official uh dividers they're the bart simpsons of chess will divide thank you sirs your service is much appreciated all right so green green over here they don't have the butterfly they need that's all they care about is the butterfly so now they start looking what points can we possibly score we score points for this symbol and that's right there and it gives you a rock not that the and rocks once again are also worth points as well because like two po rocks are worth one point so they say yeah i'll take a mum. I'll take an easy two and a half points there. Then blue. So blue is looking for... It's so... God. Blue is a poppy. Oh, my hand. I hope my hand wasn't in the way the whole time. The poppy, the mom. They need a butterfly. Everybody needs a dang butterfly. Are they, they don't have one. No butterfly. Wow. So they take the mystery card. There's no great choice for them. And they got themselves the butterfly! Boom, 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 boom. They put it in their nice clean pile right here. And just like that, they got that on day two. Which means now, what are they looking for? They have... They have... Uh, they have the poppy. They need a beetle. So they need a beetle and they need whatever that thing is. Which I think is like a lily or something. I forget. And, oh, it's the daisy. Oh, so they can scoop out that daisy right now. And they're first, so they do. Boom, got it. And they have now completed this. Excellent. So they now are pivoting possibly to just points as well. We'll see. <laughs> this is so messy. All right, green. Green going right now. What's green doing? What was green's game plan? Green is still looking for that dang butterfly that has just eluded them. So now they're thinking, all right, how can I get points? Do they have, how many of these do they have? They have uh, one. They, no, they have two. They have two poppies. That's four points. That's four points. They don't really need a rock. They're dominating in the rock game right now. So I think they take the four points. 
I think they do. I think they say, all right, smart business transaction. Oh my gosh. Wait, you know what I can do? You know what I can do? Oh, I can do this. Oh, look at you. That's so clever. Look at that. It just made so much space. Organization. Okay. And Pink. Pink stuck with a tulip and a mum. Do they need the tulip or mum? Oh my gosh, they do. That mum fell right into their lap. And half point right there. So that's two and a half points for that. They don't really need any of the other symbols on it, I do not believe. But, yeah. So, day three. I feel like they're hoarders right now. Like, you guys really need to move into bigger apartments. All right, so, uh, I don't know why I'm setting it this way. Two. Oh, that structure. Because I, I only think one person has the structures, right? Wait, what am I doing? That's a four-player game. I'm setting up a three-player game. Oh, my gosh. I almost did it wrong. Yes. Three-player game. Three rows of cards. And then these bottom ones. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's that's for white. Okay. They take that? I think they take that. I might have just cheated. Two. Three. I thought I set the camera space up uh, so that I would have enough room to play. And then I underestimated very severely uh, how many cards. <laughs> go there uh this one is secret so this goes here 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 yep good Ooh. oh wait, wait wait those are different oh we haven't even seen those oh my goodness so these are things that will score you points if you have all of those in your garden which i imagine most of them at this point would probably have you know so that's kind of just that's like five points right there for for pretty much all the players, I would imagine. <coughs> Alright. Hold any more cards. Set them off to the side. Blue goes first. What is Blue's primary objective? They Everyone's done all of that except for green. So, Blue is just now points, points, points. Purples? Do we have purples over here, Blue? Where's Blue? Oh my gosh. Now that they don't have their things, I can't even... I don't even know what color they are. Oh my gosh. This is pink over here. This is blue over here. Now I need another way to signify this. This is... Okay. <laughs> We're learning. We're learning right now how to do this segment. All right. So it's pink on the left. Blue, green. PBG. There we go. We got PBG. Pink, blue, green. So blue, once again... It's getting points for whites. That They've already pointed out on that one, so we'll just tuck that away. The only thing they get points for is points for whites. Do they have purples? They have two purples, so that's like picking up four points. They have three purples, so that's like picking up six points. And ding, 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 we have ourselves a winner. Six points. Cool. All right. So, pink pointing out once again. They need yellow. They need beetles. They can't get either of the yellow or the beetles, but I'm going to guess they have a B. They do not have a B. What? I mean, I guess they have a white, they do have a white, and they have that flower. So that's three points to them right now. And, yeah, I don't I don't see what else they take. Yeah. So now they're looking for a B. We are actively looking for a B. A B will get us two more bonus points. Green, back over here. Green still needs that dang butterfly. Which will never come. And But green is getting... No, green doesn't have any... Wow, green's bonus modifiers are not going to help here. So neither of these cards will help green in any way, shape, or form. So I guess they just want to pick first. They go with the daisy. Not to mention it has a bug on it. That's ugly. I didn't put rocks on. I did not put rocks on. So that would be a rock here. Yes. Rock here, rock here. Boom, boom, boom. Rock, 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 rock. Yes. So I did the pink got a rock because they took that. Got it. Fixed it. Boom. So, who got this one? This was uh, green. Yeah, green got stuck with that daisy. So, still no flower. Still a butterfly. But they do have this symbol. They do have the mount. They do have that color. And then they do have that symbol as well. So, that would be worth five points if they took that. So, we're, I feel like we're min-maxing at this point. That's pretty much all we're doing towards the end of the game. So, yeah, five points. Boom. I think that's a no-brainer. Plus a rock. That's a half point. So it's five and a half points. Blue going next. What's blue going to do? No, pink's going next. Because pink's right there. <laughs> All right, pink's this person. All right, so they need beetles. Can they get beetles? No. They do have two daisies. So that right there would be four points immediately if they went there. Or they could go into the unknown. But I think you just lock up four points. 
Bingo. And then we have blue, Daisy, which does nothing for them at all, because once again, they don't need anything, so they go wild. They go wild, and they got a lily, and they hate everything about that. <laughs> yes, that lily stinks for them. Maybe it'll get better. Doubtful, because there's only three turns left. So, blue. What do they need? They need purple. They need white. Are those their only scoring bonus modifiers? They are. Different colors. So that right there will get them five points. I'm 99% sure because they have lots of different colors. They diversified. Yes, I think it's five points. That's also five points. So that's a rock and five points. That's five and a half points. Plus, they wouldn't go last, potentially. So, and that's two points. Yeah, so I think they go 5.5 points, and they go right here. And uh, maybe maybe they claw back into the rock game. No, they're not clawing back into the rock game, but they just did score 5.5 points. We're just going to tuck that towards the bottom. We'll do the scoring on that a little bit later. Green, what are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you? You're right here. You still need a butterfly. You are never getting that butterfly. I'm sorry, sir. So you scoop up the five points for having five different colors. I think that is the play because these don't score. Well, actually, those would score you two points. That's two and a half points, but still, you want five and a half. You want five points. No brainer. All right, so we don't need this one to see that one. And then pink, now, what do we need? They actually need none of that. They don't need any of that. So half point, at least for the rock, and they'll still go first. So I think they take this. Yep, bingo. Oh, wait, uh, what? No, they're looking for a B. Yeah, that's right. They're looking for a B to get, to get two points. All right. That's gone. Pink. This is the, so this is the only chance they have to get those two extra points. Or they could just go here, which I'm pretty sure would get them. Yeah, this would just get the five points. But, ooh, flowers that are the same. They don't have five flowers that are the same, do they? I don't think they do. They have one, two, Two. So yeah, I think they go here for five and a five points. Easy five. Nice. So blue. What does blue do? What does blue need? Where is blue? Blue's right here. Blue might have five of a kind, maybe. Of the same flower. They have two lilies. Uh two bums, two tulips, two oh golly. They don't have that. So that's two points, but it could go up to four points. No, because they're going to want lilies, because they have two lilies. So is there a lily they could grab? You know what? Blue goes first, so they can snatch up this four points at the end. I think that's what they do. All right, and it's a poppy, and it is... Uh, I don't think it helps them in any way, shape, or form. All right, what else? Green, sitting here. Do they have cards that are the same? They have two daisies. They have... Yeah, not really. So I think they go here. At least it's two points. Plus, they can even get another one that matches potentially, which will bump that up to four points. Blue, last opportunity. Blue is in the middle. They are the... Yeah, they have two pieces of equipment, so I don't think anyone can take the equipment from them. So they would not go for that. The daisy is not going to help them. It'll give them a half point, but whatevs. The equipment, like, like I said, they already have that locked down. So I think they go with the... Yeah, the lilies. So they get four points with lilies. All right, boom. And what does pink do? Pink is, what do they score points on? So they score points on Daisy, so that'd be two points right there. Or this would be three points right here. But this is two and a half points. And honestly, I don't want to have to mess with doing scoring modifiers, so we're going to take that. And then this person's like, well, cool, I'll take, uh... <coughs> no, who took that? Oh, then green. Green will just take that and say, yeah, I'll take three points off that. So, let's do the scoring now. This is where things are going to get uh, a little bit interesting. We'll do them one at a time. So, first, we're going to put our spotlight on this player. So, this is pink. This is pink. Also, who has the most rocks? Let's do that first. So, they have five. Uh, they have six, and the other person over here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they, they crushed. So, this is going to go over here. Get rid of this. We don't need any of this. So, let's just figure out Pink's score, which will be right in front of us. Let's block that. So, first thing, they have three points on rocks because you get a half point for each rock. And I'm going to pull up the scoring just to make sure I do every single thing completely by the books here. All right. 
Uh, so, three points right there. Next, they're going to get... So, we're just going to put all their bonus modifiers over here. What kind of bonus modifiers do we have? Do they just have the two? And I think the way you'd probably want to sort this out is kind of like how you do Splendor, I think. All right, so it's... Uh, so, Daisy, Daisy, yeah, like this. I think if I just would have did this, man, <laughs> this would have been way easier. But I choose to make things difficult sometimes. But next time, I will learn. Man, they had three daisies. And they had the bug scoring modifier. They have a mum. They have this. So, where's the other uh, poppy? Okay, so let's take a look at the points. The following got arrangement cards. So we will get the first arrangement cards. And I think we completed both these. Do we have a B? Do we have a B? No, we didn't have the B. We did not have a B. So we only completed one of these. So this one would score five because we, uh, three because we don't have the B, and this one would score uh, five because because we uh, we have everything. So that's eight points right there. So that brings us up to a grand total of eleven. Let's do this. All of our yellows, we have three yellows, so that's seventeen points. All of our daisies, we have three of those, so that's twenty three points. Nice. All of our beetles, we have two of those, so that is twenty nine points. Some good bonus modifiers there for pink. Uh, over here, we also have 34, 37, and 40 points. I think pink with a very respectable 40 points. That, uh, I don't know if that's going to win. I don't really have a good feel for it, because when you play three different characters, it's it's really uh, it's really hard. <laughs> Let me make sure the rocks are worth a point, though. The Ranger uh, and any flower with butterflies, sculpture cards score your points, desire cards float your points. Maybe I'm making that up. Maybe you don't actually score points for the rocks. I thought you scored a half point for the rocks. Okay. So we're going to take that off the record because I apparently uh, misspoke on that. You don't score a half point for the rocks. I thought you did. Okay. So, pink, everything, go away. Bye-bye. You, you're out of here. Next, we go to blue. What's blue got? Blue's got stuff. All right, so apparently no half point for those rocks. I think I think that is. I think I'm just struggling to find it in the rule booklet, which is not good if that is in fact the case because I'm looking great at the scoring section. All right, so lily, daisy, mum, tulip, sculpture, poppy, mum, tulip, Scoring, uh, Lily, Sculpture, Thingy-Bobber, and uh, Pop it. So let's see the points. First, Blue completed everything, so 6, 9, 12 right there. Uh, they have the most of this, so that's 17 points right there. Two Purples brings us to 21, to 1 White, ow, only 1, 23, that one hurts. Uh, two lilies brings you to 27. Not the same. So that brings us to 32. And then we complete this. We have a yellow. We have a butterfly. And we have whatever this is. Uh, so 37. Wow. Wowzy mousy. And now, uh, now the, <laughs> the rocks might pay a role if that is actually a half point. Because right now, with the current scoring, blue would have... 39 and a half and pink would have 40 but i have to get back into the rule booklet real quick but i'm going to do this score first because if it's higher than 40 we don't even need to do it and i think it will be i think this person won i think green crushed but let's see all the rocks in the world but we'll aim out to it but these i think too oh those are good those are good the scoring bonus modifiers but we'll see we'll see all right so they got the t that's what ends they got this. Oh my gosh, they just keep getting them. There's so many of them. They just have so many in-game stuff. So Daisy, Mom, Daisy, Tulip, Lily, Poppy, Poppy, Mom. Okay. Uh, the same. They only have two of the same, so that is two, one point. Ow, that hurts. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, one point. Yikes. Not a great start. Whatevs. Uh, so one, three, because they got the T card. Uh, not the same color. So that's eight, 12, 
16, they did not win. They got they got shafted, I think. Uh, 16, 19. 19. They completed everything on here. I think they did. <coughs> 24. Okay. You get into the, so this they had one, so that's 27. No way. Oh, but over here. Over here. 27, 30, 33, 36. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, yes, I do need to look into the rock rules. So, let because let, I could have swore stones. For every two stones, score one point. Single stones do not score. Okay. So, yeah. There. It's on the final scoring page. Okay. Cool. So, that means that pink is, in fact, at purple. Since that does not round, which I don't think is fun. I think you should have half points, but whatever. Uh, 39 for blue and then green. One, two, three, four. It's 40 to 40. O-M-G. O-M-G. Which now makes me wonder... Uh, oof. So let's see what's the tiebreaker. Don't you tell me it's a shared victory. If there's a tie, the player to the closest to the top of this position at the end of the game wins. Which was... Uh, it would be... Where was Pink? Future Forest here through the magic of editing. Pink one. But as always, if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below and in the comment section down below. What's a game you'd like to see me play three-handed? Let me know in the comments below. If I have it, I might just get around to it. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.